The teacher usually chooses good students to answer. Is this a good effect? Um, no, this will not have a good effect on the classroom climate. This would have a bad effect. Now, let me tell you why. Of course, in your class, you're going to have many different kinds of students, right? You're going to have your strong students. And by strong students, I mean kind of good, well-spoken students, right? But you're also going to have some weaker students. Their English is not so great, right? You're going to have some shy students. You're going to have some quiet students. You're going to have some bad students. You're going to have some lazy students, right? Now, I think when you're asking questions, if you only pick good students to answer, that's because you're kind of lazy because you don't want, you know if you ask a good student to answer, they're not going to make a mistake, right? So then you don't have to correct them. Ooh, that's good for you. You don't have to work hard, right? Pretty awesome. But no, that's not a good idea, right? You have to give everybody a fair chance. So no, not good. However, on the other hand, the next one here, guys, the teacher often chooses weaker students to answer. Um, some people think this is maybe debatable, like maybe this could be good, right? And it kind of depends upon your definition of what is often, but most people agree that often means like 70% of the time. So when we have questions in class, 70% of the time, should we be asking our weaker students? Uh, no, I'd have to say this is not a good idea. You're putting too much pressure on the weaker students, right? And when they can't perform or when they make a mistake, you know, of course they feel bad, right? So those two previous questions, the, the teacher often chooses weaker students to answer or the teacher usually chooses good students to answer, both of them are bad, right? So what is this all about? This means basically you need to make some kind of balance, right? What this basically means, and I think a good rule here to follow, and it's a pretty simple rule, is when you have a difficult question, you kind of want to navigate that, you know, direct that towards your good students, your strong students, right? But when you have a nice, easy question, right, maybe you want to navigate that one towards the weaker students, right? Because you want them to get it right, and then they're going to feel good, and you're going to build up their confidence, right? And you're going to turn that weak student into a strong student, hopefully. That should be your aim. <laughs>